Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus. This is the seventh installment in my tutorial series called that I coined base in a book. Yes. So the point of this is that I provide a lot of blueprints in books and they will help to create a vanilla base that is very well proportioned and quite scalable. So the next part of this is a, a kind of yeah, kind of the engine of the whole base. You want to get a lot of a lot of belts and undergrounds and splitters, inserters of variant types and assemblers, all of that stuff. You want that automated very early. So as soon as you have like the basics, the green, red and green signs, you have the green circuits up and running. This is the thing that you need to build, in my opinion. So this has a lot of different terms. It could be called the build everything factory. It's the production array. That's kind of my preference, but that's also a bit technical, but the most uh, commonly used these days is the mall. So this is kind of a logistics mall to get the base up and running. And I'm not the big fan of having like huge malls that there's everything from yellow inserters to beacons and uh, centrifuges and nuclear reactors. No, that doesn't make sense to me. I'd rather have built it in different steps. So the first step is actually the logistics and that's the one we'll be focused on today. So let's see, the way I'm also structuring this is I have split it into two. So there's an early game and there's a late game version of it. And I guess we, we should sort of, in this case, I'm using robots to build it. Otherwise this will take too long because every single one of these power poles is minutely placed so that they actually cover what they need to cover. We have the lights at where we want the lights and we have a lot of production where we want a lot of production. You can see there are some glaring holes in this like here, here, here. That is for what when we can scale it up for the later stages. So what let's just recap what it's building. It is building an awful lot of of assembler or sorry, gears. And there is a reason why it's not balanced because this the left side left side is using a hell of a lot more iron than the right side. So that's why I'm trying to balance this by having the right side pull in more for the for the uh, for the gears, because these gears can actually be inserted on both sides. And additionally, so the next thing the actual purpose is the first two tiers of belts, undergrounds and spillers as well, and the first four types of inserters and actually only the assembling machine two. I'm not storing the assembling machine one here. So this is not where we build it for the later science requirements. This is only for, let's get the, the base going. So I recommend just stamping this one down. Let's see how it performs. And let's see how, what goes on. So you will be able to see that actually the iron will not get very far down the line. You can also see here that I have included a red line. This is deliberately only put on half a belt, but I'm I'm not dragging it up here because this is assuming that we don't have, this is a stage before the red circuits. But I want to illustrate it here because you want to make room for it. So you can always, you can scale it up later. So you can see here, things are progressing and you will also be able to see that it is actually, this one here is really the hog in terms of getting all of the gears. This one is waiting patiently for the gears. Yeah, so this is getting the, um, the normal belts plus some iron. It's actually quite strange that it doesn't require gear wheels, but I guess that's, that's the thing. So up here, these are being produced. The constraint here is usually you see the iron coming in here, the gears coming in and they'll be put in here. First, we need to fill this one up. I have sort of taken the decision that in this blueprint, every single one of these have two stacks while the belts have five, four, five stacks. So that's uh, the difference here. And you can see, let's, let's pretend that we've now progressed in the game and we now have, we have lubricant, we have that Oops. we have lubricant we have red circuits as well so now we want to build like the blue the blue belts we want to build the better inserters we want to build like the better assembler as well and luckily someone has already thought of that and made the blueprint scalable for it and hold on i'm just like what suppose work there we go easily ties in 
and boom there you go let's recap this one as well just to see how it works and you can see lots and lots of things are going on and you can see here the iron is just not able to keep up but that's that's totally expected this is something that you build and leave it also if you um, if you notice this there's there's sort of the, the point to it is that if i had built like many more things on the down down here they would just not be produced even though it, if i was out there for an hour or so so this is why i prefer it like this because i have a full belt yellow belt in full yellow belt in on actually two full yellow belts in and they're being all of them being consumed of course go out for half an hour come back it's uh, it's stable this one and i'll uh, of also be building more production arrays for the different types of of materials so that you can build them at the stage when you need it so if you're not building trains there's no point in having trains in this mall or this array there's a dedicated one for trains and a dedicated one for sort of the end tech yeah that kind of thing and i think this is pretty much it it uh, it just keeps going we can see that now it finally reaches one thing i should mention is this one this one is completely not scaled because this takes 0.5 seconds and this one takes 15 seconds. So this one is actually running for, has run four cycles of 15 seconds. That's every minute. Plus it's actually it only produces 0.75 a minute. What you can do is take the first of these and just jam it in there. Could be there. It could also take like the first of these. First of this one, just jam that in. Oops. Jam that in here. And again, you can And let's see. There, right? So now it, it becomes significantly faster. And but it's still it's still only gonna be slow. And that's that's perfectly fine in, in my case at least, because I don't really need that much of this. And this one is missing the gear wheels, but gear wheels will just basically not get anywhere as long as this one is operational. Is this one hasn't filled up. And that's basically it. So uh, with that. I hope this was uh, useful. I think it's a very convenient, cool way of building an array. And I'm definitely going to be using this exactly out in, in my future bases. So with that, thank you very much for joining. If you liked it, please leave a like and a comment below on, and subscribe for more content like this. So thank you. See you next time.